Hello everyone, I thought I would do a demo reading using my Curiosity reading system. Oh, good when I have it up the right way, isn't it? Um, it is a rubber mat, and it's a bit like um, mouse mat that you know you used to have years ago. Everything nowadays is on uh, touchscreen trackpads. So the mat and the whole system entails a mat, 18 cards, set of dice and 18 matching charms. Now these cards, these actually mirror the same images that's on the mat and there's a reason because I'm going to show you just how easy this is to be able to do a reading, whether it's for yourself, it's for the friends, it's for the relatives and tell your sister what she probably doesn't want to know. Um, and it is that very interesting and simple. So let me go through and I will use it so that you can have a look. So let's use a scenario of, okay, a um, couple that are married. Um, he has his wife and his family but he's also got a lover on the side. So, and the wife doesn't know. So, a bit of juicy, why not have juicy? It's actually a fairly common um, question and predicament that many professional readers will see and face. So, what we do, you have 18 different areas. Now, this is about a love reading, so we can start in the position of the heart. Um, if you wanted to know more about um, money, we would start in the position of money. If you want to know about career, we would start in the castle. If you want to know about family, we'd start in the family, babies and so on. You can, the three dice, these are actually based on um, ancient dice reading system and dice reading system goes right back to um, biblical days and they used to actually throw knuckles and they used to scribe on the knuckles um, then it evolved through to more square shaped with numbers and that that we know today so dice reading traditionally it's known the numbers and the symbols behind the numbers and dice reading usually has three different colored dice but i've converted uh, old form of dice reading into a symbolic form flat structure so you don't have to try and remember what these babies are so let's get started and I'll show you just how easy this is so we're looking at this juicy relationship he's got the wife he's got the kids but he's also got the lover now his predicament is he's falling and falling more in love with the lover than he is the wife so when we look at this situation we are going to actually have a look now i'm a flipper that's why i put them upside down some people turn them up that way but i'm a flipper not a turner um and so the question that is we're really looking about with this man is you know, if he leaves the wife and the children, how will his family adjust to this? Now, when we're talking about a relationship, we would normally look at the house, but we're looking at the question from how will his family cope with him if he abandons his wife and children? So what's the fallout of his own family? So in that type of question, I'm actually going to start in the house of the house. Now, three different ways you can do this we can start in the house of the house because i want to know about family we could start up in the top corner um, if we want to start in top corner or we can leave it up to fate and we throw the dice whoops rolled off and then you would add up these numbers so we've got six and five is 11 and one is 12. so if we were starting and following by the dice we would go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve we would start in that card but i want to have a look at these starting from the house of the house now each card has a number on them and when i turn this card over I have to two things, look at the number of the card and also the colour. And then I go to that next level. So it's like a chain. And card chaining's been around for God knows how long. But anyway, let's start in the house of the house. So we have the cane. 
cane actually I'm very surprised to see but again we are doing this as a reading exercise cane there would actually tell me he's got fairly decent family support because you've got the cane layering the house so here we are reading not just the house but we're reading the layer with the cane on top of it which would tell me he actually has more family support than I would have assumed so we are going from a blue row which is this bottom row and card position number one so we now turn that so here we've got the spider sitting on the cane. Now that throws a little bit of a different spin on it because spider literally means a tangled web. Spider in traditional tea symbology means an older lady, which would be more like in this situation, a mother figure. So although he might have some support here, mother figure here would probably with the crane would try and control the situation more and it's like a spider weaves the web so it tells me she needs to sort of work she'll interject in what's going on she may really start to try and bring things back together again so let's have a look at what the spider color number one says green row number five now just look at this this is a perfect example i'm really glad we did it this way we have only turned three cards. This house brings right back to here. None of these other cards are turned. And people, I know you'll be inclined to turn them over and peek, but the whole object of this is not to peek. It will only show you the cards and the information that is truly relevant to the question. So there, when I look at how will his family adjust if he does leave the wife and head for the lover, he will get some sounding report, um, support. But he's got here a mother figure who may still try and keep as much family together as she can. It's interesting too, though, of cards that didn't turn because he hasn't turned the heart, which would have told me um, where the love is, where's the heart. And it also hasn't shown the child or the baby here, because the baby would have told me about new beginnings. So when I look at this, I would say his family are supportive, but it won't surprise me that the mother tries to intervene to keep the family together. So then we bring in our charms. Now these charms, there's 18 of these as well, and they also match the cards. So I'm just going to mix here. Normally they're good if you just pop them in a little cup, and I just want a couple on here, and a couple here. Where am I? Another one. Whoops, I've got tangled there, and another. Okay, now I'm only looking at two charms per card that's turned. So he's got the horseshoe, and he's also got the ship. The ship here would indicate take his time before doing changes. Again, he's very, very lucky to have the horseshoe because it would tell me he's got a very good family that is behind him. He then, we then come back to the spider. You've got the camel and the scales, which tells me the older supportive woman though is very persistent with the camel, but she's also very fair. So, which would tell me she's about balance in life. And then we have here the house on the spider. And it's funny, it's literally the sword and the money, which would tell me probably where he looks and needs to look at his family life of literally how much uh, financial loss will he lose, but also cutting of the family that he may lose. Very interesting cards. Um, and a very interesting outcome for such a um, hot and juicy topic.